<laughs> round game. We in this in this thing I say up round uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing I say up round uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing I say up round uh, uh, game. We in this in this thing I say up. Uh, what you doing here if you ain't looking for no airy? We stay turned up. We be talking about them Aries. Crank up New Year's. We be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang. We be turned up for them Aries. What's up, gang, gang? What's poppin', baby? Happy New Year. What's going this island in the life of a ram? From the 1st until the 30th, okay? For the month of January 2019, if you didn't know, Mocha is taking a break. So you may or may not get admit, you may or may not get um, mid months from me because you guys, I've never taken a break since my channel has been open. So with that, I will be taking readings up until the fifth. After the fifth, I will open up possibly on the weekends to take readings with a three max, and I'm only taking emergency readings, and the cost is different. Okay, you can find all of that information within the description below. If you need that personal, this is just a general. Hit me up. Okay, I currently do um, have a fifteen dollar off special for my thirty. 60, uh, well, 30, 45, and 60 minute reads for 30, 30 through 60 minute sessions um, up until the 5th of January when I cut it off and quit taking readings for a bit. Um, after that, if you need an emergency reading with which same day, two hour wait maximum, hit me up in the um, um, email and we can work it out. All right. No longer ado, y'all. Smile, in, smile, in, come on, y'all. This has been quite the year. We have to smile our way through it. Y'all, this, we made, we made it. God damn it, we made it. Say, somebody say, yes, bitch, we made it. What are y'all talking about? Pick up those frowns, turn them upside down, and find something to be grateful for, Aries, okay? Um, if this year didn't teach us anything, it should have taught, taught us about love, loyalty, and truly, truly trusting within the self, as well as honing our spiritual abilities. And some of us are coming into the awareness now, but 2018 kind of brought us into that awareness that we are spiritual teachers. So we got a responsibility and to whom much is tested, much is, to whom much is given, much is tested. So understand that shit come, you got to pay the cost to be a boss, period. Okay, so let's get it. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? Um, You guys, thank you to all of my likes, my shares, my subscribes. Y'all, family, we have really pushed through. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. I really, really, really appreciate you all, okay? Um, again, this is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, hit me up. I'm available until the 5th of January 2019, and then I'm on break okay and you know that reason we break <laughs> that means we break <laughs> we do a shit <laughs> so you guys y'all i want to really wish you all much love much happiness much peace much abundance may all of your dreams be met with nothing but success y'all and abundance because y'all we fucking deserve it okay so um without further ado we're gonna jump right in all right this will be for my summer rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of aries okay between um what's well, for the month of january all right let's get it all right so the angel message that i pulled for you guys okay um it's going to be clairvoyance y'all and in the midst of my break i'm gonna be working on this damn audio and this video understand that i'm a single mother <laughs> and so that means i have to juggle business you know, spirituality, my damn peace and sanity, <laughs> bills and shit. This is my only um, job or any, you know, and I don't even look at what I do as a job. It's my passion, you know. So this is one of many streams that I look to grow um, as far as my life purpose, y'all. And so shit, I got to pay for that shit myself, okay? So if you're going to talk shit, <laughs> there's a donate section. Do that. If not, shut up. All right, so the, and that's gonna be a verbatim on everybody's video because I'm not with the shits in 2019. All right, so we rocking. The, the message was clairvoyance. Archangel Raziel, I'm helping you. I'm sorry, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully, so you can clearly see heavenly love again. I feel Aries find something to be grateful for. Yes, okay, I may not have this, I may not have this, but damn, I got a roof over my head. Everything that I need, I got it. 
in abundance. I don't need for shit. Yeah, my wants, they come with time. And they come with hard, with my hard efforts that I've put in with the seeds that I've sown. Because, baby, it's reap the reward time. Just say, I, just say I accept and so be it. It will be coming to you. Okay? You have to find something to be grateful for in the midst of every damn storm. Because life is... A matter of storms. We don't have them. They ain't going no damn well. Either you can adapt, okay, or you could just be lost in your own sorrows. But this year should have definitely taught you how strong you were, if nothing else. All right. So going forward in January, the first week, a lot of you all could really, really be in this very harmonious space. Things will be balancing out for you guys on an internal level where there was those little emotional roller coasters, you know, that we were experiencing for some of us since really November, October, really during that damn Venus and I believe in Scorpio, shit hit the fan emotionally. We felt kind of like we were all over the place, okay? So I do see the first week of January, a lot of you all things will be aligning up. There will be an opening of the heart chakra happening. So some of y'all is going to be in love or will be entering new relationships or coming into harmony within the self so that you can be allowing to um, a new relationship, okay, new love, new experiences, new things that really just makes your heart feel open and adapted to accepting that beauty of life that life is trying to offer you instead of you being able to um, live in this place where you got to feel like, I can't trust no damn body, I don't want to be around them damn people, I don't want to, you know, the change starts with you, babies, all right, yeah, again, death and rebirth, some of you all, some of you all are going to be looking at situations, circumstances by the second week. You know, with new eyes, I feel that there's this shift in perspective that's happening. The way that you once looked at things, you're looking at that shit, shit that once made you mad. You're now looking at it like, hmm, does that add to me? Will it build me in any way? Will that shit affect my coin? Is my family going to lose some damn sleep? Fuck that shit. Fuck them people. Fuck what they talking about. If they don't feel me, I feel my damn self and I'm going to be my own damn hero at the party. Do you understand me? Fuck them. Two tears in a bucket. <laughs> Fuck it. That's how Aries is going to be looking at things, okay? Because we've already went through, you know, hardship. We've gone through heartbreak. And for some of us, that was simply just the catalyst of our growth. So instead of looking at a situation like, you know, that person fucking broke me, that situation, you know, really hurt me. Because I definitely see for some of you all, and I felt and I heard the actual saying of reconciliation. So some of you guys, people are definitely coming back from the past. And this could be people who were literally the catalyst of your growth. Yes, they did hurt you. Yes, they did betray you. Yes, they did. Still, so for some of you all, they took your power. However, it's how you choose to look at it because you know what? In the midst of this, some of you all had issues with letting go, abandonment, and what you did not recognize in the midst of that storm in the past, okay? That you're going to see further is, God damn it, I made it through. <laughs> not only did I make it, not only did I make it, but I built something of substance. I built me a baby, literally. For some of you all, this was the catalyst to growth for your awakening, for you to move forward and start that damn business. You turned your pain into power. Now it's time to be recognized and have that realization within the self, within that harmony that's coming within the first week, to allow you guys to be open and receiving to that change, okay? To that depth of perspective and awakening and birth to this newness let's get this new money new love new sex new whatever etc fill in the blank fill in the noun it is up to you to receive it are you ready to receive aries i say somebody are you ready to receive okay <laughs> are you ready to receive for some of you all i could actually be finding out that you are going to be conceiving a baby you're going to be pregnant look a little kids okay congratulations boo for some of you all, it's definitely having to do uh, possibly with the mother figure, okay, or possibly healing a relationship with the mother. If you are a mother, people are going to be coming in, possibly um, an ex, uh, ex-husband, ex-spouse, um, child's father, child's mother, etc. You take it how it goes, but I do see there's a very heal. It's a very healing time. And you're going to be able to accept it and see it with new eyes because you're going to be just really looking around at all of this abundance that you have around you. It, it's your take on what you see is abundance, okay? For me, abundance has to do with comfort, okay? Strong and strong and sturdy foundations, great health, great wealth, prosperity. I speak it in my life in the form of an affirmation every day, and I suggest that you guys do the same, okay? In order for you to receive this nurturing, this 
feminine like energy that's trying to pour upon you Aries in order for you to move with the same passions and the ambitions that you move with but for you to really understand what it is to nurture relationships or to receive that nurturing from another or another or pretty much from other people even with what you build with your hands as far as a business aspect give me all right so I hope that wasn't confusing because I ain't gonna lie, I had a whole Becky on camera real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> had a whole moment, all right? So I will see. I do see here within that third week, some of you all, um, again, this goes to some of you all could be finding out that you're pregnant, okay? If not the second week of January, the third week of January, and again, congratulations, especially if you're already a mother, okay? If you are not trying to get pregnant, that energy is here. Wrap it up, strap it up, okay? Wrap it up. Clink, clink that thing on up, all right? Because that is the only safe way. For those of you um, who have not been possibly having sex or for those of you who are, uh, who've been celibate for some time, I do see some of y'all get mad at me, whatever, do whatever, do, just throw your little shade, what, whatever, whatnot, cause don't lie, people do, okay? So with that said, some of you guys will be moving away from celibacy into getting some of that good, mm, 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 mm. What y'all know about that? Mm -mm. <laughs> Did I say new money, new sex, new love, new wealth, new health, new prosperity, new found abundance, new perspectives, y'all, new happiness, new joy. You deserve it, baby. Some of you all, if you're having issues with your mother, okay, I do see with that new perspective that you guys will be gaining within the second week. By the third week, that will be coming to a resolution so you guys can move forward to whatever it is that spirit has for you within that fourth week i do see the fourth week of january moving into february there's some type of expansion that you guys are going to be some type of expansion that you're going to be experiencing this for for those of you who are business owners okay like myself and for those of you who are spiritual teachers for those of you who work in um any type of like music streams i see artwork i see um for those of you who are painters for those of you who also um travel for a living for those of you who've been wanting to travel or maybe been just kind of in your head about taking a job or taking a position elsewhere just pretty much expanding just get up and moving some y'all are going to be in the like the, by the fourth week of january up and just saying fuck it i want new everything new place new surroundings new everything and i do see spirit is supporting that trust your intuition go with it you're going to be successful and i'm hearing Pack light, pack light, even with this car, pack light, meaning that you are not long, this, all of this shifting in perspective, all of this um, forgiveness, all of this, uh, these reconciliations, these apologies, this, for some of you all, great wealth going to be pouring upon you through other people if you learn how to be accepting and not be so prideful. Okay? It's not... Balance out that ego during this time. And I do see that's what's going to be going on as far as an alignment with the first first and second week of January for you all. You're going to be looking at things with new eyes, okay? Instead of saying, oh, I don't need your help. Hell yeah, I need your help. Shit, you know how long I have to put this shit together myself? Shit, look, look I got money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? You understand? Look out. If you got that, then you ain't lacking shit. You understand? Say thank you. Yes, yes, I do. Thank you. Aries. That needs to be the new tune, 2019, okay? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. Shit. So that you can move forward to greater pastures. You never know where your blessing is going to come from. And for some of you all, it's going to come from this damn expansion and you moving forward or taking that leap of faith just to um, not be afraid to take that shift. You know, some of you guys are physically moving, but I definitely see some of y'all are going to be moving somewhere where it's warm. Some of you guys are going to be, some of y'all going to be moving somewhere where it's very cold. I'm here in Denver. I'm also here in Miami. Um, some of you all, I'm here in Idaho. Idaho who the hell moves to Idaho? See, it's all. Massachusetts. Florida. Hold on, y'all. Connecticut. Texas. California. Who moving to Compton? Change your mind in California. It's great opportunities other than places in Compton. That's ratchet, ratchet. I'm, I'm sorry if you're from Compton not calling you ratchet, but whoever this is, Spirit is saying you have options. You're a settler. But don't settle in 2019. Whatever you want, go get what you want. Not close to what the hell you think you can have. Who does that? 
You better respect the God in you. All right. So let's get it. Spirit, what do you have for my Aries and finances for 2019? Yeah. Again, moving forward. For those of you who've been contemplating moving forward for a job, take that damn move, baby. It's looking real good. Um, one second. Yeah. Though some of y'all been in y'all damn head about something that was infinite for you with these damn two eights. Spirit is saying, what is you waiting on? Change is good, baby. All them damn five, five, five that you've been seeing is for a reason. Change is up on you. Hold on. I dropped my cards. It jumps out the damn thing because every is ready. Yeah. Some of y'all have literally been resisting change. There's an end coming to resisting during this time, okay? So that you can truly embrace what is for you in finances? For some of y'all, finances and love and new love is actually tied in. The reason why your intuition is pushing you out the damn door and pushing you off that damn cliff is because you're getting a two-for-one special when you get there, honey, okay? I do see some of you all, especially if you're trying to go and start your own businesses, definitely when you move forward, be receptive to um, new opportunities, new experiences, because I definitely see love is tied to finances for some of you all. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Some of y'all going to meet your damn twin flame, but I love your damn life, your soulmate, your divine partnership in that move, okay? This is why that move is on your ass, all right? But definitely, if you're having a new opportunity or trying to... um Thinking about starting over or investing elsewhere by some type of move is definitely looking good. Queen of Wands, here you go, baby. Queen, King, Queen of Wands, take it as it resonates, okay? This is not a gender-specific card, but I will say... You're going to find that new zest, that new passion. You're going to, again, new sex coming around that move for finances. New, new is upon you, you. Oh, what you going to do? Are you going to take this new love? You want to open your heart and be receiving to love? Okay, you're going to take this new opportunity because it could be something that you actually love to do. Move towards your passions. And don't look at, oh, well, that don't pay enough. And don't that, that. Get creative. Find a way to expand. Every This is a year of 2019 equivalent to number three expansion, baby. It's not what you're doing. It's how you look at what you're doing to build, to truly see what it is that you're trying to grow. Don't be scared. For those of you who've been in your head about leaving a job, Spirit is saying you will have other opportunities. Make the movement. Make the move. Let God do God's job and stop trying to control every damn thing. Okay? It's not going to work out this year. Whatever it is that you're trying to birth, whatever it is that Aries is trying to grow, it is destined for you. That 111, 1111 newness, newness that's going to bring you some form of stability that you grew with your hands, the birthing, all them damn spiders that you're seeing during this time, shift your perspective, spiders brings, spiders bring the news of wealth and great health and abundance, okay? Look it up, Google is free, don't believe me, shit, shit. <laughs> all right, so, so what do you have for my Aries, my beautiful Aries in love? For the month of January 2019. Love spirit. Thank you. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely going to be healing. Healing from your past. Healing situations where you felt like, you know, I put in all of this damn work. Am I wrong for leaving? No, you're not wrong. You actually learned a lesson. It was a karmic lesson, but you had to learn. The lesson was having to do with self-worth. What it is that makes you happy. Fulfilled. What it is that makes you happy. What you deserve. Fulfillment. Okay? Some of you all. There's going to be an offer of reconciliation with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be someone who you have a family with, okay? This first week, and I feel like, but some of you all, you've been trying to manifest it, okay? But there, you kind of burdened by the idea because you're just like, well, damn, I not already put in all of this work. I really don't want to fucking work no more because I've been working on my damn self. So some of you all will continue to work on the self. Some of you all, if you choose to allow this person to show you better than tell you, okay, then what the hell is going on? Oh, oh, what the hell, what the hell they want. You. If you allow this person to show you better than they can tell you, then you will see the actions speak louder than words with this person for some of you all. And this can be a beautiful new beginning. OK, for some of you all, this could involve another Aries, um, another Leo Sagittarius. This could involve Capricorn towards Virgo as well. All right. But for some of you, you're going to choose just choose to work on your damn self. You know, I've learned so much. I've gained the knowledge of knowing I can do this by myself. Some of y'all just going to choose to be independent and focus on um, what it is that you're trying to grow on an entrepreneurial level or as far as stacking your money. OK, second week of January, spirit and love for my beautiful Aries. Yeah, some of you guys could also be healing from a relationship with the Capricorn during the second week. Yeah, 
Some of y'all could also be hearing some news um, regarding the legal system. Okay, for those of you who are looking to hear back from some type of settlement or some type of legal case with this justice being here and upright, I do look like it, it do look, does look like it's going to go in your favor, especially if it has something to do possibly with assets from like a marriage, okay, or someone trying to come for your business, all right? But some of you definitely are on the brink of something beautiful happening as far as financially. Those of you who, some of y'all, it's a pop quiz spirit is sending y'all. I feel that you really are going to get into this place where you're able to sleep. Some of y'all are kind of going to be in y'all head in the second week as far as starting something new, okay? Or it could possibly be some of y'all who could be finding out the child pregnant. Some of y'all could have actually walked away from this person. But this news of pregnancy for some of you all is going to actually change your mind about reconciling. Because for some of you all, you really manifested your singlehood and you don't want to look back, okay? And for some of y'all, this is definitely going to cause a tower moment, okay, in some of you all plans. But I definitely feel like it's a blessing in disguise, all right? And it's, it, it's surrounded around fulfillment, I'm hearing, okay? But I definitely feel that some of y'all... <laughs> Some of y'all are going to drop the burden as far as carrying, trying to continuously deal with a third party situation or accepting somebody who comes in your energy with that third party shit because you're just really not hearing it. You know, if your ass said you was going to do it, then you would have been did it because for the things that we truly love, we make time for them. For the things that truly matters to us, we make time for them. And seeing that you have not done that shit, fuck you, fuck what you're talking about, fuck the horse you rode in on, and you can really pit for pat and kick rocks, baby. I got somewhere to be on my best blessings on blessings on blessings shit and there's going to be a reward for you guys choosing that self-love self-worth from the universe all right in the form of possibly some type of financial gain unexpected money because i do see aries have the chances of running into unexpected money between the first and the second week of january but you're definitely ending karmic cycles especially if you're dealing with um leo Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus, okay? But some of you all, you have, some of y'all are very indecisive. You could have been holding on to someone who you have a lot of passion for, but I feel like there, though there's passion, there's also this need for you to really choose what matters most to you, stability or passion for some of y'all, okay? Because I feel like it's, again, it's around it's surrounding fulfillment. Some of you all are indecisive about moving on from someone and starting a new beginning because you could have someone holding on to you or you holding on to someone for financial reasons, okay? Or maybe you're connected to someone financially, but every says this need to take a leap of faith. Some of y'all are healing from possibly a toxic past or a toxic connection that you could have had with the Sagittarius person. And for some of you all, there is victory. Excuse me. For some of you all, there is victory, okay? Especially when it comes to any type of, like, court cases. Some of y'all have a court case brewing and you don't even know it, but you're going to find out around the third week, okay? But some of you all, you could be dealing with someone who there's a need to separate from someone because they have some type of court issues. And if it's around the children, all right, or someone trying to control a situation, or control a lover of yours due to children. Some of them may find out that some children are not theirs, okay? And there will be that reconciliation. But for some of you all, it's just this really deep craving for peace. And peace really lies within your own damn hands because you choose to hold on to that shit. If you're not married, have any type of connections when it comes to um, financial type of endeavors. And even still, there is some type of damn plan, contract, some shit that could be typed up. To get out of that shit, when you are, it's the mindset that tells us that we're stuck. When you detach yourself from the mind, you detach, your body moves easily with that shit because you're truly moving in what your authentic truth. You know you got you. So why do you tell yourself that you need somebody else to have you if you show you every day through that person not being, not being what you need, whether it's financially, supportive with your children, that any damn way, you do it anyway. Think about it. Yeah, for some of you all, you're coming out of this indecisiveness, okay? Possibly regarding um, an Aries, all right, or a Virgo, a Leo, a Sagittarius, all right? For some of you all, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I definitely feel that someone wants to grow with you, okay? For some of you all who um, were trying to get pregnant, for some of you all, you've been in your head, why is this not happening? Why is this not happening? Why is this not happening? Spirit says because that's not your person. That's not your person. For some of you all, yeah, you're making a judgment call possibly. 
between the third and fourth week, okay? The end of the month, you're wrapping it up with making a judgment call in situations that you feel possibly stuck in, all right? You're releasing yourself from situations that you feel stuck in, whether it's mindsets, okay? Whether it's the actual situation, all right? But every this month of January, it's all about taking that leap of faith. Fear not. Fear no more. For some of you all, you possibly have another Aries stalking your ass, all right? Be on the lookout. I don't feel like this is something that you should be fearful of, like this person is coming for your head and they really want to give you that work. You know, I don't feel like that's something that you should be fearful of. I just feel like you definitely have someone hiding in the shadows. This could definitely be someone who you have children with or someone who did something very fucked up to you in the past, Aries. Now that they see that you're moving towards new love, you're successful, you, your, glow, your glow up is amazing, that blow up is, uh, is, is phenomenal, do you understand? You're moving towards this new love, all right? And for some of you all, maybe this is someone who did not want commitment from you in the past. This could also be a Taurus. Some of y'all are going to also be finding out or going to be receiving some type of engagement. Okay, hold on. Pause. One second. I'm recording. What's up? Okay, get your football. Hurry up. I'm recording. You, just, you nosy. Come on, say hey with your little nosy self. Hey. hey, that's my little Aries moon child. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 big fella. Whoa, what, what is you? Whoa, whoa, what is you? Do? Don't laugh. Go ahead, bye. Be careful. Y'all, my child is bad. <laughs> he think he's slick too. He boy, the boy love camera time, okay? Okay, but for some of you all, okay, you are going to be moving into this, um, some of y'all are going to be getting engaged, period. I was trying to dress it up and make it real good and not spoil the said damn surprise, but some of y'all with this, uh, finding out that you're pregnant, it's also going to be this engagement, but some, someone, oh, spirit, I hate when spirit take me to this place. I was trying to be happy. I'm still going to be happy. I'm hearing for some of you, Spirit says about 15% of y'all, someone lost a child. And I'm so sorry for that loss, baby. I, um, I've um, also lost a child before myself. And it puts you in a very low space. And you're regaining, you know, your confidence. And you're moving forward. You're, you're getting your chi back, okay? But I feel that this child could be visiting you while you're asleep. Or could that could, could have been going on during the month of December. I do see in the month of January, this child that you're finding out, or towards the end of January, toward February, this child that you find out that you're pregnant by, I mean, that you're pregnant with, it's a redo, baby. At the time, it wasn't the right time, okay? During this time, moving forward, it is the right time. Things are more stable. You're in a much more serene environment, okay? There's a need for you to take better care of yourself and... Also, really, really, really tune in and check in with your body. I'm hearing a lot of you guys, most of you all, Spirit says, need to drink more water and eat more fruit. We're going through this light activation change for some of you all. Um, you can also Google it. It's called or look here up on YouTube. I don't know if some of you all are, have been experiencing this heavy ass energy, but it's called a light activation or an Merkaba. Okay, a Merkaba activation. Um, but a lot of you all are will be going through that or are kind of going through that within this month of December and you're coming out of that in full force and Mars coming back home and on your best shit, okay? So, you guys, I do see so much progress, forward movement, stern, I mean it fucking conversations, especially when it involves soulmate relationships, karmic relationships. A lot of you all are breaking unhealthy ties, anything that just does not work for what you truly want. you allowing God to be God. You know, I can't cater and baby these situations or baby your heart or kind of uplift you all the damn time because I'm so big. I'm too busy trying to nurture myself and my surroundings and the things that I want to see grow. And, you know, honestly, Aries, good shit. Good shit. For those of you who are possibly moving away from a soulmate relationship, okay, and worrying about your independence, but this nine of pentacles, you're going to be good, you're going to be A1 stakes off, get out your damn head, the fear starts here, okay, as long as this here, this hard space is right, all right, and your intention is to grow, believe it, achieve it, so be it manifestation is the doing, you can sit up and pray for all of this all day, the spirit's still going to deliver, but it's the action behind it, and that faith that you move on that truly allows you to see the, the, the seeds that you plant grow, baby. And it is 
receiving recognition as well as a rectification time. Be accepting of that energy because spirit is truly trying to bestow it upon you, boo. And it, okay, thank you. <laughs> Receive it. All right. So I love y'all. Happy New Year again. I wish you guys much love, much prosperity, much abundance. Y'all and many smiles. We deserve it. Be happy, Aries. If you need that personal, holler at me. All right. I love y'all. Bye.